Season 9 of Formula E comes with some of the biggest innovation changes to date. Gen 3 brings more power, more speed and more efficiency. It's the perfect time to be here with DHL to understand how two leaders in innovation are working to help shape the future in both logistics and electric racing. And just the amount of power and regeneration back into the battery is like 40%. So it's impressive what they can do and it's only the beginning. And he's done it! Ultimately, the manufacturers are here to obviously win some races, but make their road cars better. I would love to see four-wheel drive. The acceleration speed we would see is like out of this world. Similarly, in DHL's world, their trend radar is helping to identify how AI could significantly impact supply chains in the coming years. Computer vision will enable more efficient processes as well as sustainable and safe operations by applying AI algorithms to data extracted from digital imagery. And being able to extract data quickly is something we know to be absolutely crucial for our race teams over a race weekend. There's so many sensors on these cars, uh, especially in Formula E with the energy management. You know, for the drivers, there's obviously steering, uh, the brake pedal, the, the throttle, uh, the speed, you know, to kind of maximize their performance. But then also from the engineer's point of view, there's the sensors on the tires, on the brakes, on the powertrain, on the ride heights, on everything. So AI is uh, becoming more and more powerful and, and certainly all the simulations they run uh, offline to optimize their energy management through the race is becoming more and more powerful, especially in something like Formula E. These rapid developments in AI and sensor technologies also pave the way for autonomous carriers and robotics, just like those DHL have been investing in in their everyday operations. The Clevon One is already making a difference for DHL. It's helping to improve safety and it's reducing CO2 emissions. And in DHL warehouses, innovations like this exoskeleton will help to enhance capabilities and safety. One person, four Formula E tyres. Easy. We've got land, we've got sea. Are we going to be racing <laughs> in the skies in the future? Oh, we have all that space and nobody uses it really, just for a few planes here and there. But I'd be interested to see how they lay out the track for it. That would be ultimately <laughs> the biggest thing. Although electric vehicles in the skies may not be in the near future for Formula E, it's not as far away as you think for DHL. Their investments into sustainable aviation fuels and electric aviation means that something that was once just a dream is becoming a reality. Remind you of anything? Trampoline!